What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Hit Parade Football Autograph Limited Edition Series 19 just sold out. This is a dual case break, random teams number one. And as you can see, guys, there's some of the previews right there, some of the bigger hits you could potentially get. Now, this is a 32-spot team uh, break, so random teams. Everybody gets one random team. And each box contains uh, autograph. Hand-numbered boxes, 1 through 100. Uh, and uh, let's get this rolling, guys. So this is the only two cases we have in Series 19. And there's the names that bought in straight up from Rick down to Garrett. The rest won those from its pack filler or box break. And then Car uh, Cardinals down to the Commanders. So here we go, guys. Roll. Four and a two six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brett, down to Jeremy. Two and a four, two, six. Let's go right here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Saints down to the commanders. All right, so Brett, you have the Saints, Nestor with the Panthers, Nick Stover with the Falcons, Bears, Matthew with the Jets, Ed with the Broncos, uh, Brett with the Cardinals, Jeremy, uh, Haynes with the Texans. Um, Chad B with the uh, Patriots, Nestor with the Dolphins, Garrett, Jaguars, Nick, Steelers, Brett with the Titans, Rick with the Giants, Nick Stover with the Cowboys, Brett with the Bills, Jeremy with the Vikings, Garrett with the Packers, Paul with the Chiefs, Douglas with the Raiders, Jason with the 49ers, Nestor with the Chargers, Chad with the Rams, uh, Jason with the Eagles, Nick Stover with the Seahawks, Anthony with the Ravens, Kenny with the Browns, Rick Savage with the Colts, Garrett with the Bucks, Nick Stover with the Bengals, Andy with the Lions, and then Jeremy with the Washington Commanders. All right, well, if anybody wants to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Not stick to what you got.
Nick wants the Bills, so he's willing to do a three-team trade for the Bills. Uh, I don't know if Brett's listening, actually, but I'll give it another 30 seconds. All right, try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Let's do it. All right, guys, also Flawless is coming up next, so by the time I get done with this, uh, we should have uh, Flawless on the board. Number uh, three. And then I'll probably most likely RMB number four. And then also post up uh, five and six as well. Oh, Caleb is crying. You played great, Caleb. You did your best. Ohio State is very, very happy tonight, right? <laughs> I seen Joe Clatt tweet that uh, basically the committee basically said that they're going to take Ohio State and TCU over a two-team Alabama, whether whether uh, whether or not things get shaken up in the top four. I think USC was really the only other team that potentially could have been in there if they would have beat Utah. Yeah, but if they stand defeated, they're in. James Conner to start us off, and that's from uh, NT as well. Player worn used material, eighty-seven out of ninety-nine for the Steelers. Next over. But what they're saying is that they would, even though, you know, it could be shaken up in the top four potentially that. TCU's, if TCU were to win, they're in for sure. But um, if they lose close, I think they take a one-loss TCU team over a two-team Alabama loss team. And then same thing, Ohio State sneaks in now because USC lost. Aiden Hutchinson. 
It's going to be crazy, though, because I can't remember the last time there was, like, this many teams with two losses, one to two losses, that are fighting for, like, a the top four. 17 out of 75. That's going to go to the Detroit Lions and Andy. I feel like there's a lot of two teams that could have easily made it. Like, honestly, I mean, I know I'm very sometimes biased with Oregon, but if, if Bo Nix doesn't get injured and they beat Washington and they went out, or if, if they would have lost to... Sorry. I take that back. If... Uh, if they would have won out potentially and won the Pac-12 the way the schedule was before losing like to Oregon State and stuff, they could have had a chance, honestly. But when Bo Nix got injured, that pretty much kind of killed it right there. And then the way they lost to Oregon State last week was kind of embarrassing. All right, we got Travis Etienne Jr. I know, man, but you got to be fair, though. If it's a one-loss team to a two-loss team, how are you going to put them there? You know, the, their only loss is to Michigan, right? So, it's just hard. That's why I love that they're expanding the playoffs because it's just, it's too hard top four, honestly. There's always going to be teams left out of the playoffs that should have been in, you know? Kyle Pitts for the Falcons, next over. So, Garrett with the Jaguars and then next over there with the Pitts. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's the thing, right? If you guys were to, you guys play Georgia, right? Uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia would probably be in no matter what, whether they lost or not, right? Brian Robinson Jr. to 99. I mean, would you really argue any other team being a one-loss team with Georgia? That's going to the Commanders and Jeremy. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Dalvin Cook for the Vikings from Select. 21 out of 199. Rookie RPA. So now with USC signing... Or sorry, USC. Rose Bowl signing that deal. Um, it can expand to as early as next year to 8, right? Oh, I'm talking about this this weekend, though. Like, if Georgia were to happen to lose, they're still in, right? No matter what. They might not be number one anymore, but they'd be in. Tyreek Hill. 9-5. 10-5. And that is a 11 out of 50. Kansas City Chiefs. Paul. But you're saying in the future... But you're saying in the future when it's finally like a 12-team playoff, it would be actually like home field, right? So if you get a bye, you're playing at home, vice versa. Like it wouldn't be like neutral sites anymore. It wouldn't be like bowl games, right? It'd be like a legit playoff matchup. That is kind of cool, actually. I mean, yeah, I, I think if you're Georgia, you're in anyways, right? So, it's like, I, I, I'd probably think about benching some players. Romeo Dobbs. Because at the end of the day, I, I, I don't think... I don't think Georgia really cares who they play, right? Or would you care if you're Georgia who you play? Because, I mean, honestly, I think they're still the best team. But, I guess seeding-wise, you'd still want to be at number one. Because you'd get that one or two lost team at number four. So Green Bay Packers with that one, Garrett. Nice J.K. Dobbins. 9-5. 10. And 
last one before the second case. A little Saquon Barkley for the Giants. 73 out of 100. Giants is Rick Savage. All right. I don't think we've seen a sell sheet here, here, but sometimes Nick with the collages, I don't think he can put every single one of them. So we might have hit a sell sheet, honestly, but we probably just didn't hit the right one. I'd have to assume it probably was maybe... I don't know, actually. Like Tyree Kill? I don't know. Or maybe it was just one of those cases that they didn't have one, but... Saquon Barkley is also really nice. Whoa. I feel like they're displaying a lot of quarterbacks. The only other photo that's not there that's not a quarterback is the Gronk rookie. Let's take a look, actually. Sometimes they still have this on their page, and we can see the sell sheets. So Josh Allen is one of them, obviously. Oh, Saquon Barkley. So here you go, guys. Look at it. Show it to you right there. So obviously that was there. Nick put a photo of that. That one. It looks like the Saquon Barkley was the other sell sheet, which makes sense. And then you have the Delvin Cook there. You have a Zeke, the Gronk, that one, and the Tua. So those are the ten sell sheet hits right there. All right, good to know. Switch scenes now. Man, Matt Liner looks mad. <laughs> Rightfully so, Matt Liner. All right, Minka Fitzpatrick, Dolphins edition. Nestor. We have a uh, Marshall Falk. It's like a pinnacle, right? I think it's pinnacle. No. Tops. Uh, 92 at 99. Paradigm. Top Paradigm. Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. Douglas with the Raiders. Daniel Jones, five out of twenty five. Debo Samuel out of 150. So Giants was Rick. 49ers Jason. Alright, halfway through the next one. Wow, we got the Justin Herbert. For the Chargers, going to Nestor. 48 out of 49. Very nice hit right there. And that is a rookie, actually, Justin Herbert as well. Turn of the century. 
So Nestor, congratulations. So that was the sell sheet hit here, guys. Traylon Burks, Tennessee Titans to 249. Brett with the Titans. And a Brees Hall in the zone. Auto zone. 16 out of 25. That's collegiate. But still going, of course, the Jets going to Matthew. All right, two more boxes, guys. Nice Michael Vick for Nick Stover and the Falcons. That is a uh, three out of ten. Miraging. From Illusions 2021. All right, and here we go, guys. Last one. A lot of solid hits coming out of here. Here we go, last one. And this guy is so consistent in fantasy. I love this guy. Amonra St. Brown. Great receiver, too, man. He gets like 10 receptions a game. Over like 10, 15, 20 points every game easily. Uh, 68 out of 99 for the Detroit Lions. Andy. There you go, buddy. So there you go, folks. That was the Hip Parade case, number numero uno. I think that's the only two we had, so I took it off the website. But, of course, if we can get more, uh, we'll definitely post it up. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, guys. Thanks.